Welcome back. In video 9, we will discuss how to prepare financial statements, specifically a statement of owner's equity. The purpose of the statement of owner equity is to summarize the changes in owner equity for a specific period of time. It reports the beginning capital balance, add new investment by owners, and net income from the income statement. It subtracts withdrawal by owners and calculates an end in capital balance which is carried forward to the balance sheet. Here is the adjusted trial balance that was prepared previously. Notice the two highlighted accounts that will be reported on the statement of owner equity. There are Minnelli Capital and Minnelli Withdrawer. Here's the income statement that also was prepared previously in video 8. We will be referring to this statement to bring the net income figure forward to the statement of owner's equity. The steps to prepare the owner equity are Step 1. Enter a three-line header at the top of the statement identifying company, statement, and period covered. Step 2. In the body of the statement, enter beginning capital balance in the right column. Step 3. Enter additions to beginning capital in the left column. Enter total additions in the right column and derive a subtotal. Step 4. Enter the amount of withdrawals in the right column. And Step 5. Derive ending capital balance by subtracting withdrawals from the subtotal previously calculated. Okay, so let's see how this works. Here is step one. In the heading, the name of the owner, Minnelli Landscape Design, name of the statement, statement of owner's equity, and the period covered, four month ended, November 30th, 2015. Step two, we're going to enter beginning capital on November 1st on the right column. Since this is the first month of operation for Minnelli Landscape Design, the beginning capital is zero. Step three, we are going to enter additions to beginning capital in the left column. There are two additions, investment by owner, 25,000, and net income, which we picked up from the income statement of 1,743, giving us a total additions, which will be carried to the right column, of 26,743. This is also the subtotal because we started with a zero balance. Step four, we enter the amount of the withdrawal in the right column beneath the subtotal previously calculated and we derived the ending capital balance by subtracting 1,500 from the subtotal of 26,743 given us with an end in capital balance on November 30th of 25,243. Now this end in capital balance is carried forward to the balance sheet, which is the next statement we will be preparing. Okay, so here is the completed statement of owner equity. Note the use of the dollar sign in the first entry of each column and in the total Thank, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. The next financial statement to be prepared is the balance sheet. Go to video 10 to learn how to prepare a balance sheet.